Welcome to Growth Mindset Company, where we unlock the secrets of professional success and industry excellence, one insightful video at a time. Today, we're diving deep into the world of FIDIC contracts, exploring the pivotal golden principles that stand at the heart of successful construction and engineering projects. Whether you're a seasoned professional or just starting out in the industry, Understanding these principles is key to navigating the complexities of international contracts with confidence and expertise. In this video, we're not just breaking down the what and the why of the FIDIC Golden Principles, we're also sharing practical strategies, real-world examples, and expert tips to help you apply these principles effectively in your projects. From ensuring fair risk distribution to mastering dispute resolution, we've got you covered. Your journey towards mastering FIDIC contracts and elevating your project management skills starts right here at Growth Mindset Company. So, if you're ready to transform challenges into opportunities and drive your projects to success, you're in the right place. Let's embark on this educational adventure together, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button to support more content like this. Let the learning begin! Introduction to FIDIC and its Pivotal Role in Global Construction and Engineering Projects The International Federation of Consulting Engineers, commonly known by its French acronym FIDIC, Federation Internationale des Ingenieurs Conciles, stands at the forefront of the global construction and engineering sectors. FIDIC's influence stretches far and wide, setting the standards for contractual practices across international borders. This organization is renowned for publishing the General Conditions GCs, of contract, which have become the cornerstone of international construction contracts, transcending geographical and jurisdictional boundaries. FIDIC's brand is synonymous with fairness, balance, and recognition, offering forms of construction and engineering contract and agreement forms that are well regarded across the industry. The essence of FIDIC contracts lies in their foundation of fair and balanced risk-reward allocation between the employer and the contractor. These contracts are celebrated for striking an appropriate balance between the reasonable expectations of these contracting parties, thereby ensuring a contract recognized as a FIDIC contract carries substantial commercial value. This value is not only perceived at the tendering stage but also throughout the execution of the contract, benefiting both the employer and the contractor. However, the integrity of FIDIC's principles has been increasingly challenged by significant alterations to the general conditions through the particular conditions PCs. These modifications, often substantial, risk undermining the FIDIC brand by deviating from the principles that underpin these contracts, potentially misleading tenderers and the public. In response to these concerns, FIDIC's Contracts Committee established Task Group 15, TG15, with a mandate to identify the inviolable and sacrosanct contractual principles of FIDIC contracts, known as the FIDIC Golden Principles, GPs. TG15's mission extended to exploring ways to prevent or at least limit the misuse of FIDIC conditions of contract. The publication prepared by TG15 outlines the FIDIC Golden Principles, the rationale behind these principles, and guidance on drafting particular conditions and other contract documents in a manner that does not violate these principles. These guidelines are crucial for ensuring that modifications to the general conditions, necessary for addressing the unique features of the project and the site location, do not deviate from the essence of a FIDIC contract. FIDIC contracts, designed to be adaptable across a wide range of projects and jurisdictions, emphasize the principle of freedom of contract. This principle allows parties to agree on contract terms, provided they comply with the law and public policy. Following the publication of the GPs, which delineate the essential elements of a FIDIC contract, it becomes clear that referring to a contract using the FIDIC GCs that does not comply with the GPs as a FIDIC contract is both misleading and inappropriate. The introduction of the FIDIC Golden Principles marks a significant step towards preserving the integrity of FIDIC contracts. By adhering to these principles, the contracting parties can ensure that their agreements remain within the bounds of what is globally recognized as fair, balanced, 
and in line with the esteemed Fittick brand. This adherence not only protects the commercial value of being associated with Fittick but also promotes the principles of fairness, transparency, and efficiency that are vital for the successful execution of construction projects worldwide. In essence, Fittick's role in global construction and engineering projects cannot be overstated. Through its comprehensive contract templates and the establishment of the Golden Principles, Fittick ensures that the complex web of duties, rights, obligations, roles, and responsibilities inherent in construction projects are managed with a level of standardization and fairness that benefits all parties involved. As the construction industry continues to evolve and expand on a global scale, the principles and guidelines set forth by FIDIC will undoubtedly continue to serve as a beacon of best practices, guiding project managers, engineers, contractors, and other stakeholders towards successful project outcomes. Overview of the 2019 Golden Principles, Ensuring Contract Fairness, Transparency, and Efficiency The 2019 FIDIC Golden Principles, GPs, represent a cornerstone in the realm of international construction and engineering contracts, introduced to safeguard the integrity of FIDIC's general conditions of contract, GCs. These principles are designed to ensure that contracts under the FIDIC umbrella maintain their globally recognized standards of fairness, transparency, and efficiency. The GPs serve as a beacon, guiding the drafting of particular conditions, PCs, and ensuring that modifications do not deviate from the core values that FIDIC contracts are known for. The Essence of the Golden Principles The Golden Principles are formulated at a conceptual level, capturing the essence of what a FIDIC contract should embody. They are concise, ensuring that each principle is easily understood and widely accepted within the construction and engineering sectors. The GPs are intentionally limited in number to cover only the most fundamental aspects necessary for the completeness and integrity of FIDIC contracts. The Five Golden Principles GP1 Roles and Responsibilities This principle emphasizes that the duties, rights, obligations, roles, and responsibilities of all contract participants must align with those implied in the general conditions, tailored appropriately to the project's requirements. It ensures that the essence of each participant's role is not significantly altered, maintaining the contract's integrity. GP2 Clarity and ambiguity The particular conditions must be drafted clearly and unambiguously, ensuring that modifications or additions to the general conditions are made with precision, avoiding any potential conflicts or misunderstandings within the contract documentation. GP3 Balance of Risk Reward Allocation This principle mandates that the particular conditions must not alter the fair and balanced risk reward allocation provided for in the general conditions. It preserves the equilibrium that FIDIC contracts are renowned for, ensuring that neither party is unduly burdened with risks that they cannot control or manage effectively. GP4 Reasonable Time Periods All specified time periods within the contract for the contract participants to perform their obligations must be of reasonable duration. This principle ensures that timeframes for actions and responses are fair, preventing unreasonable pressure or delays that could impact the project's execution. GP5 Dispute Avoidance Slash Adjudication Unless in conflict with the governing law of the contract, all formal disputes must be referred to a Dispute Avoidance Slash Adjudication Board DAAB, for a provisionally binding decision as a condition precedent to arbitration. This principle underscores the importance of resolving disputes efficiently and equitably, minimizing disruptions to the project. Purpose of the Golden Principles the introduction of the GPs by FIDIC was driven by the need to address and mitigate the misuse of FIDIC contracts, where significant alterations to the GCs threaten the contract's fairness, transparency, and efficiency. By establishing these principles, FIDIC aims to protect the FIDIC brand and its global recognition for fairness and balance in construction and engineering contracts provide clear guidance on drafting PCs and other contract documents to prevent deviations from the core principles of FIDIC contracts, encourage the proper administration of contracts, 
ensuring that all parties fulfill their obligations and can exercise their rights effectively throughout the execution of the works. The 2019 Golden Principles are a testament to FIDIC's commitment to maintaining the highest standards in contract management within the global construction and engineering industry. By adhering to these principles, stakeholders can navigate the complexities of construction contracts with confidence, ensuring that projects are executed fairly, transparently, and efficiently. Target Audience Acknowledgement – Navigating FIDIC Contracts The FIDIC Golden Principles, established in 2019, are not just foundational guidelines for drafting and managing construction and engineering contracts, they are a beacon for a wide array of professionals involved in the construction industry. Understanding and applying these principles is crucial for ensuring that projects are executed within the framework of fairness, transparency, and efficiency that FIDIC contracts are designed to promote. The target audience for these principles encompasses a broad spectrum of professionals, each playing a pivotal role in the life cycle of a construction project. Project Managers Project managers stand at the forefront of ensuring that construction projects are delivered successfully. Their role involves coordinating various activities, from planning and execution to monitoring and closing projects. The FIDIC Golden Principles provide project managers with a framework for managing contracts and relationships between parties, ensuring that projects are completed on time, within budget, and in accordance with the agreed specifications and standards. Engineers Engineers, whether they are designing the project or overseeing its execution, need a thorough understanding of the FIDIC Golden Principles to ensure that the technical aspects of the project align with the contractual obligations and standards. For engineers, particularly those acting in the capacity of the engineer as defined in FIDIC contracts, the principles guide their decision-making process, ensuring that their determinations and actions support the contract's fairness and balance. Contractors Contractors are directly responsible for the construction works, making their comprehension of the FIDIC Golden Principles essential. These principles help contractors navigate their rights and obligations, manage risks effectively, and engage in transparent and efficient communication with other contract participants. Understanding the principles ensures that contractors can execute their responsibilities while advocating for their interests within the bounds of the contract. Subcontractors Although not directly mentioned, subcontractors also play a crucial role in the execution of FIDIC contracts. Familiarity with the Golden Principles can help subcontractors understand the ecosystem of obligations and rights within FIDIC contracts, facilitating better integration and compliance with the main contract's objectives and requirements. Legal Advisors and Consultants Legal advisors and consultants specializing in construction law need to be well-versed in the FIDIC Golden Principles to provide accurate guidance to their clients. Whether it's during the drafting of particular conditions, negotiation of contract terms, or resolution of disputes, their expertise in how these principles apply is invaluable for maintaining the integrity of FIDIC contracts. Broader Construction Industry Stakeholders Beyond these key roles, the FIDIC Golden Principles are of interest to a wider audience within the construction industry, including regulatory bodies, academic institutions, and students specializing in construction management and engineering. These principles form the bedrock of understanding how successful international construction projects are structured and managed. In essence, the FIDIC Golden Principles serve as a crucial guide for anyone involved in FIDIC contracts, ensuring that all parties have a common understanding of the contract's core values and objectives. By acknowledging the target audience and their respective roles in the construction process, the principles foster a collaborative environment where transparency, fairness, and efficiency are not just ideals but practical realities. This collective understanding and application of the Golden Principles are what enable project managers, engineers, contractors, and all stakeholders to navigate the complexities of construction contracts effectively, mitigating potential disputes and enhancing the overall success of construction projects worldwide. Section 1. Understanding the FIDIC Golden Principles 
Brief History and Evolution of Fiddick and the Rationale Behind the Introduction of the Golden Principles The International Federation of Consulting Engineers, known by its French acronym FIDIC, Federation Internationale des Ingenieurs Conciles, has a storied history that dates back to its founding in 1913. Established with the aim of promoting the professional interests of consulting engineers globally, FIDIC has grown to become the preeminent authority on engineering and construction contract standards worldwide. Over the decades, FIDIC has developed a suite of contract templates that are revered for their fairness, balance, and comprehensive approach to project delivery across the construction and engineering sectors. Evolution of FIDIC FIDIC's journey from its early 20th century origins to its current status involved the gradual development and refinement of its contract documents. These documents, known as the FIDIC contracts, have been designed to cater to a wide array of construction projects, from traditional civil engineering works to complex, multidisciplinary projects. The evolution of FIDIC's contracts reflects the changing dynamics and growing complexity of the construction industry incorporating lessons learned from project disputes, technological advancements, and the globalization of construction practices. Introduction of the Golden Principles The introduction of the FIDIC Golden Principles in 2019 marked a significant milestone in FIDIC's ongoing efforts to uphold the integrity and applicability of its contracts. This initiative was born out of a growing concern within FIDIC and its stakeholders over the misuse of FIDIC contracts. Specifically, there was an alarming trend of significant modifications to the general conditions of contract GCs, through the particular conditions PCs, which often resulted in contracts that deviated from FIDIC's core principles of fairness, transparency, and balanced risk allocation. These modifications not only jeopardized the FIDIC brand but also misled tenderers and the public, undermining the commercial value and global recognition of FIDIC contracts. In response, FIDIC's Contracts Committee established Task Group 15, TG15, to identify the inviolable principles that should underpin every FIDIC contract, leading to the formulation of the Golden Principles. Rationale behind the Golden Principles The Golden Principles were introduced with several key objectives in mind. To protect the FIDIC brand, by defining the essential elements that constitute a FIDIC contract, the Golden Principles help safeguard the reputation and commercial value of FIDIC's contract templates. To promote fairness and balance, the principles ensure that modifications to the GCs through the PCs do not disrupt the equitable risk-reward allocation that is a hallmark of FIDIC contracts. To enhance transparency and efficiency, by setting clear guidelines for drafting PCs and other contract documents, the Golden Principles aim to prevent ambiguities and misunderstandings that could lead to disputes and project delays. To maintain global applicability, the principles reinforce FIDIC's commitment to providing contract templates that are adaptable and relevant across different legal systems and cultural contexts. The introduction of the Golden Principles is a testament to FIDIC's adaptive and responsive approach to the needs of the global construction industry. By establishing these principles, FIDIC has reinforced its leadership role in setting the standards for construction and engineering contracts, ensuring that its documents remain at the forefront of best practices for project delivery. The Golden Principles not only reflect the evolution of FIDIC's commitment to excellence, but also its dedication to fostering a more fair, transparent, and efficient construction industry worldwide. The Significance of the Golden Principles in Enhancing Contract Management and Project Success The FIDIC Golden Principles play a pivotal role in elevating the standards of contract management and ensuring the success of construction and engineering projects. Their significance can be understood through several key dimensions. Ensuring fairness and balance. The golden principles ensure that the core ethos of fairness and balanced risk allocation, which FIDIC contracts are renowned for, is maintained. By stipulating that modifications to the general conditions through the particular conditions must not disrupt this balance, the principles protect the interests of all parties involved. This fairness fosters a cooperative rather than adversarial relationship between the employer and the contractor, which is crucial for the smooth execution of projects. Promoting transparency 
Transparency is essential in contract management for building trust among parties. The Golden Principles demand clarity and unambiguity in drafting particular conditions, which enhances transparency. This clarity ensures that all parties have a common understanding of their rights, obligations, and the procedures to follow, reducing the likelihood of disputes and misunderstandings, facilitating efficient dispute resolution. The Golden Principles underscore the importance of efficient dispute resolution mechanisms, particularly emphasizing the role of Dispute Avoidance slash Adjudication Boards, DAAB. By making provisionally binding decisions a condition precedent to arbitration, the principles encourage the resolution of disputes in real time, allowing projects to proceed without unnecessary delays. This focus on dispute avoidance and early resolution is instrumental in maintaining project timelines and budgets, enhancing contract management practices. The principles guide the drafting of contracts in a way that respects the core values of FIDIC contracts while allowing for the necessary flexibility to address the specific needs of each project. This guidance helps contract managers navigate the complexities of international construction projects, ensuring that contracts are both comprehensive and adaptable to various legal and regulatory environments, contributing to project success. Ultimately, the Golden Principles contribute to the success of projects by laying a solid foundation for contract management. They ensure that contracts are drafted with a focus on fairness, clarity, and efficiency, which are critical factors in achieving project objectives. By adhering to these principles, parties can mitigate risks, avoid disputes, and foster a collaborative project environment, all of which are essential for the timely and successful completion of projects. In summary, the FIDIC Golden Principles are not just guidelines for drafting contracts but are instrumental in enhancing the overall contract management process. Their emphasis on fairness, transparency, balanced risk allocation, and efficient dispute resolution directly contributes to the success of construction and engineering projects, making them a cornerstone of project management excellence in the global construction industry. Section 2. Reasons for the Golden Principles Discussion on the necessity of the Golden Principles in standardizing contract practices The FIDIC Golden Principles represent a critical evolution in the standardization of international contract practices within the construction and engineering sectors. Their necessity stems from a multifaceted need to address contemporary challenges in contract management, ensure the integrity of FIDIC contracts, and uphold the principles of fairness, transparency, and efficiency. This discussion explores the various dimensions that underscore the importance of these principles in standardizing contract practices globally, ensuring integrity and consistency. One of the primary reasons for the Golden Principles is to safeguard the integrity and consistency of FIDIC contracts. As the construction industry becomes increasingly globalized, the need for a standardized approach to contract management that transcends national borders and legal systems has never been more critical. The Golden Principles serve as the bedrock for the standardization, ensuring that regardless of where a project is located, the fundamental values of fairness and balanced risk allocation are upheld. Addressing Misuse and Modifications The introduction of the Golden Principles was, in part, a response to the growing trend of significant and sometimes detrimental modifications to the general conditions of contract through the particular conditions. Such modifications often led to contracts that strayed far from FIDIC's core principles, potentially jeopardizing project outcomes and the FIDIC brand itself. By establishing clear boundaries for modifications, the Golden Principles help prevent misuse of FIDIC contracts, ensuring that changes do not undermine the contract's fairness or balance, promoting fair and balanced risk allocation. The Golden Principles emphasize the importance of maintaining a fair and balanced allocation of risk between the contracting parties. This balance is crucial for fostering a cooperative relationship between parties, minimizing disputes, and ensuring project success. By standardizing practices around risk allocation, the Golden Principles help ensure that neither party is disproportionately burdened, leading to more equitable and successful project outcomes, enhancing global applicability.
The construction industry operates in a highly diverse global landscape, where projects must navigate varying legal, cultural, and regulatory environments. The Golden Principles provide a framework for adapting FIDIC contracts to these diverse settings without compromising their core values. This adaptability is essential for the global applicability of FIDIC contracts, allowing them to be used effectively in projects around the world. Facilitating Dispute Avoidance and Resolution Disputes are a common challenge in construction projects, often leading to delays, increased costs, and strained relationships. The Golden Principles underscore the importance of mechanisms for dispute avoidance and efficient resolution, such as the Dispute Avoidance Slash Adjudication Board, DAAB. By standardizing the approach to dispute resolution, the principles help minimize the impact of disputes on project timelines and budgets, contributing to smoother project execution. The necessity of the FIDIC Golden Principles in standardizing contract practices cannot be overstated. They play a pivotal role in maintaining the integrity, consistency, and global applicability of FIDIC contracts. By addressing the challenges of contract modifications, ensuring fair risk allocation, and facilitating efficient dispute resolution, the Golden Principles enhance the management and success of construction and engineering projects worldwide. Their implementation ensures that FIDIC contracts remain the gold standard for international construction and engineering projects, fostering an environment of fairness, transparency, and efficiency that benefits all stakeholders. Section 3 Guidance for Drafting Particular Conditions, PCs Best Practices for Drafting Clear and Unambiguous Particular Conditions in Line with Golden Principle 1 Golden Principle 1 emphasizes that the duties, rights, obligations, roles, and responsibilities of all contract participants must align with those implied in the general conditions, GCs, tailored appropriately to the project's requirements. This principle is foundational for ensuring that FIDIC contracts maintain their integrity and the balance of interests between parties. Drafting clear and unambiguous particular conditions, PCs, is crucial to adhering to this principle. Below are best practices and examples to guide this process. Understand the core intent of the general conditions. Before drafting PCs, it's essential to have a thorough understanding of the GC's core intent and how they allocate rights, duties, and obligations among the contract participants. This understanding ensures that any modifications or additions made through the PCs do not inadvertently alter the fundamental balance established by the GCs. Example, if the GC specify that the contractor is responsible for obtaining certain permits within a specified time frame, the PCs should not shift this responsibility to the employer without a clear rationale and consideration of the project's specific requirements and the balance of obligations. Use clear and precise language. Ambiguities in contract language can lead to disputes and misunderstandings. It's crucial to use clear, precise, and unambiguous language when drafting PCs. Example, instead of vaguely stating, the contractor shall complete the work in a timely manner, specify the exact timeframes or milestones, e.g., the contractor shall complete the foundation works by specific date. Reference the general conditions explicitly. When modifying or adding to the GCs through the PCs, explicitly reference the relevant clauses. This practice ensures clarity about which parts of the GCs are being amended, supplemented, or clarified. Example, if modifying a clause related to payment terms, start by stating, Amendment to Clause 14.3, the following replaces the text of Clause 14.3 of the General Conditions. Provide justification for changes. When drafting PCs that alter the roles, duties, or obligations as outlined in the GCs provide a rationale for these changes. This justification should reflect the project's specific needs and maintain the principle of fair risk allocation. Example, if the PCs require the engineer to seek the employer's approval before issuing any determinations, justify this change by explaining the project's unique governance structure or the need for such oversight due to regulatory requirements. Maintain consistency with the governing law. 
ensure that the PCs are consistent with the governing law of the contract. Any deviations from the GCs to comply with local laws should be clearly stated and justified. Example, if local law requires a different dispute resolution mechanism than that provided in the GCs, the PCs should clearly state this change and reference the applicable legal provisions. Use examples and templates wisely. While templates and past examples can be helpful, customize them to fit the current project's specific context. Blindly copying PCs from previous projects without considering the current project's unique aspects can lead to inappropriate risk allocation and ambiguities. Example, if a previous project in a different jurisdiction had specific environmental compliance requirements leading to tailored PCs, ensure that any similar provisions in the current project's PCs are relevant to the current project's environmental context and legal requirements. Adhering to Golden Principle 1 when drafting PCs requires a careful balance between the project's specific needs and the fundamental principles of fairness and clarity established by the FIDIC GCs. By following these best practices and examples, drafters can ensure that the PCs enhance the contract's clarity and applicability to the project while maintaining the integrity and balance of the FIDIC contract framework. Best Practices for Drafting Clear and Unambiguous Particular Conditions in Line with Golden Principle 2 Golden Principle 2 mandates that the particular conditions, PCs, must be drafted clearly and unambiguously. This principle is crucial for ensuring that the modifications or additions to the general conditions, GCs, do not introduce confusion or misinterpretation, which could lead to disputes or inefficiencies during project execution. Here are best practices and examples to guide the drafting process in alignment with this principle. Clearly identify amendments to the GCs. When drafting PCs, it's essential to clearly identify any amendments to the GCs. This includes specifying whether the PCs modify, replace, add to, or delete text from the GCs. Example, Clause 20.1 of the general conditions is hereby amended as follows, specific amendment details. Use direct and unambiguous language. The language used in the PCs should be direct, specific, and free from ambiguity. Avoid legal jargon or technical terms that could be misunderstood unless they are defined within the contract documents. Example, instead of saying, the contractor may be entitled to additional payment for certain unforeseeable difficulties encountered during the execution of the works, specify, the contractor shall be entitled to an additional payment of specific amount or calculation method, for specific list of unforeseeable difficulties, as defined in clause, reference. Provide examples or scenarios. Where appropriate, include examples or scenarios to clarify complex provisions or where there might be ambiguity in interpretation. Example, for the purpose of Clause 15.2, force majeure events include, but are not limited to, list of events. Example, if a flood occurs that prevents access to the site for more than X consecutive days, this shall be considered a force majeure event. Ensure consistency across documents. Ensure that the PCs are consistent with other contract documents, including the employer's requirements, specifications, and drawings. Inconsistencies between documents can lead to ambiguity and disputes. Example, if the PCs state that the contractor is responsible for obtaining all necessary permits before commencing the works, the employer's requirements should not imply that this responsibility falls on the employer. Define terms clearly. Any terms introduced or modified in the PCs should be clearly defined. If a term used in the PCs differs from its usage in the GCs or introduces a new concept, include a definition section in the PCs. Example, for the purposes of these particular conditions, substantial completion means specific definition, which may differ from the definition of completion as used in the general conditions. Address potential conflicts directly. If there is a potential for conflict between the PCs and the GCs, directly address how such conflicts should be resolved. This can prevent disputes about which provisions take precedence. Example, 
In the event of any discrepancy between the particular conditions and the general conditions, the provisions of the particular conditions shall prevail. Use structured and organized formatting. Use clear headings, numbering, and bullet points to organize the PCs. This structural clarity can help prevent misunderstandings and make the document easier to navigate. Example, use a clear heading like Amendments to Clause 8, Commencement, Delays, and Suspension, and list the amendments in bullet points or numbered paragraphs for easy reference. Adhering to Golden Principle 2 when drafting PCs is essential for the creation of clear, unambiguous, and effective contracts. By following these best practices, contract drafters can ensure that the PCs enhance the clarity and enforceability of the contract, facilitating a smoother project execution and minimizing the risk of disputes. Best Practices for Drafting Clear and Unambiguous Particular Conditions in Line with Golden Principle 3 Golden Principle 3 mandates that the particular conditions, PCs, must not change the balance of risk-reward allocation provided for in the general conditions, GCs. This principle is crucial for maintaining the fairness and integrity of FIDIC contracts, ensuring that either party is unfairly burdened with risks that could jeopardize the project's success. Here are best practices and examples for drafting PCs in accordance with this principle. Clearly identify and justify risk allocation changes. When drafting PCs that necessitate a shift in risk allocation, clearly identify these changes and provide a solid justification that reflects the project's specific needs or the local context. This transparency ensures that all parties are aware of and have agreed to the revised risk distribution. Example, if the PCs transfer the risk of unforeseeable ground conditions from the employer to the contractor, a deviation from the typical FIDIC risk allocation, this change should be explicitly stated. The justification might include the contractor's unique capability to manage this risk due to their specialized knowledge and resources. Use precise language to avoid ambiguity. Ambiguities in risk allocation can lead to disputes. Use precise, unambiguous language to describe each party's risks and responsibilities. Clearly delineate the scope of risks and the mechanisms for managing them. Example, instead of stating, the contractor assumes all risks associated with weather conditions. Specify. The contractor is responsible for managing risks related to weather conditions that exceed historical seasonal averages, as documented by specific source. Maintain the principle of equitable risk allocation. Ensure that any adjustments to risk allocation through the PCs maintain the principle of equitable risk distribution. Risks should be allocated to the party best able to manage, mitigate, or absorb them. Example, if the project is in a region prone to flooding and the contractor is better equipped to implement preventative measures, the PCs might specify that the contractor is responsible for flood risk mitigation measures. However, the employer might retain responsibility for extraordinary natural events beyond the reasonable control of the contractor, such as catastrophic floods. Provide mechanisms for risk management and mitigation. When reallocating risks, also provide clear mechanisms for risk management and mitigation. This approach helps ensure that the PCs do not just shift risks but also empower the responsible party to manage them effectively. Example, if the contractor is allocated additional risks related to site security, the PCs could specify requirements for security measures, such as fencing, lighting, and surveillance, and outline procedures for reporting and addressing security breaches. Ensure consistency with the overall contract framework. Any changes to risk allocation in the PC should be consistent with the overall framework and spirit of the FIDIC contract. Avoid creating contradictions or inconsistencies with other clauses that could lead to confusion or disputes. Example, if the PCs adjust the risk allocation related to design errors, Ensure that these changes are harmonized with clauses related to design responsibilities, error correction, and liability. Facilitate clear communication and documentation. Facilitate clear communication and documentation regarding risk allocation changes. This practice ensures that all parties are fully informed and can take necessary actions to manage allocated risks. Example, 
If the PCs assign new environmental compliance risks to the contractor, include provisions for regular reporting on compliance status, environmental impact assessments, and mitigation measures. Adhering to Golden Principle 3 when drafting PCs requires a nuanced understanding of the project's specific risks and the capabilities of each party. By following these best practices, drafters can ensure that the PCs maintain the balance of risk, reward allocation in a manner that is fair, transparent, and conducive to the successful execution of the project. Clear, justified adjustments to risk allocation, accompanied by mechanisms for effective risk management, are key to upholding the integrity and fairness of FIDIC contracts. Best Practices for Drafting Clear and Unambiguous Particular Conditions in Line with Golden Principle 4 Golden Principle 4 emphasizes that all time periods specified in the contract for contract participants to perform their obligations must be of reasonable duration. This principle ensures that the timelines set forth in the contract are fair, realistic, and conducive to the successful completion of the project. Adhering to this principle in the particular conditions, PCs, is crucial for maintaining project schedules and avoiding unnecessary delays. Here are best practices and examples for drafting PCs in alignment with Golden Principle 4. Define specific time periods clearly. When specifying time periods in the PCs, be as specific as possible to avoid ambiguity. Clearly define the start and end points of time periods, and use calendar dates or specific events that trigger the start or end of a period. Example, instead of stating, the contractor shall commence the works within a reasonable time after contract signing, specify, the contractor shall commence the works within 30, 30, days from the date of receiving the notice to proceed. Justify adjustments to time periods. Any adjustments to time periods from those specified in the general conditions, GCs, should be clearly justified within the PCs. The justification should reflect the project's specific requirements, logistical challenges, or other relevant factors. Example, if extending the defect notification period beyond the standard duration specified in the GCs, the PCs might explain, Due to the complex nature of the works and the anticipated lifespan of the materials used, the defects notification period is extended to two, two, years from the date of substantial completion. Ensure time periods are realistic and achievable. Review the proposed time periods to ensure they are realistic and achievable, given the project's scope, complexity, and external factors such as weather conditions or regulatory approvals. Example. For a project in a region with a known monsoon season, the PCs could adjust the time period for certain outdoor activities, stating, the time period for completing the foundation works is extended by two, two, months to accommodate potential delays due to the monsoon season. Provide mechanisms for time period adjustments. Include provisions in the PCs for adjusting time periods in response to unforeseen events or changes in project scope. These mechanisms should be fair, transparent, and include a process for both parties to agree on adjustments. Example, in the event of unforeseen archaeological finds at the site, the contractor may request an extension of the time for completion. Such requests must be submitted in writing within 14, 14, days of the discovery, including a detailed justification and the proposed extension duration. Align time periods with project milestones. Ensure that the time periods specified in the PCs align with project milestones and critical path activities. This alignment helps maintain the overall project schedule and ensures that time periods are integrated into the project's planning and execution strategy. Example, the contractor shall achieve mechanical completion within 18, 18 months from the commencement date, aligning with the scheduled start of commissioning activities. Facilitate regular monitoring and review. Incorporate provisions in the PCs for regular monitoring and review of adherence to specified time periods. This practice allows for early identification of potential delays and the opportunity to take corrective action. Example, the contractor shall provide monthly progress reports detailing adherence to the contract's time periods, including any deviations and corrective actions taken. Drafting clear and unambiguous PCs in line with Golden Principle 4 requires careful consideration of the project's specific context and challenges. 
By defining specific time periods, justifying adjustments, ensuring realism, providing mechanisms for changes, aligning with milestones, and facilitating regular monitoring, the PCs can support the timely and successful completion of the project. These best practices help maintain the balance between project efficiency and flexibility, ensuring that time periods contribute positively to project outcomes. Best Practices for Drafting Clear and Unambiguous Particular Conditions in Line with Golden Principle 5 Golden Principle 5 underscores the importance of dispute resolution mechanisms in FIDIC contracts, specifically stating that unless there is a conflict with the governing law of the contract, all formal disputes must be referred to a Dispute Avoidance Slash Adjudication Board, DAAB, for a provisionally binding decision as a condition precedent to arbitration. This principle aims to promote the resolution of disputes in a timely and efficient manner, minimizing the impact on project progress. Here are best practices and examples for drafting particular conditions, PCs, in alignment with Golden Principle 5. Explicitly incorporate DAAB provisions. Ensure that the PCs explicitly incorporate provisions for the establishment and operation of a DAAB, detailing the process for its formation, the qualifications of its members, and its procedural rules. Example, a three-member dispute avoidance slash adjudication board, DAAB, shall be established within 28 days of the contract commencement date, with members possessing at least 10 years of experience in construction dispute resolution. Define the scope of DAB's authority. Clearly define the scope of disputes that the DAAB is authorized to adjudicate, ensuring that it covers a broad range of potential issues while respecting any limitations imposed by the governing law. Example, the DAAB shall have the authority to adjudicate all disputes arising under, out of, or relating to the contract, except for disputes related to intellectual property rights, which shall be directly referred to arbitration. Specify the DAAB decision-making process. Detail the process by which the DAAB will make its decisions, including timelines for submission of disputes, hearings, and issuance of decisions, to ensure clarity and efficiency in the dispute resolution process. Example, upon receipt of a dispute, the DAAB shall convene a hearing within 60 days and issue a decision within 30 days of the hearing's conclusion. Outline the binding nature of DAAB decisions. Clarify the binding nature of DAAB decisions and the conditions under which they can be challenged or appealed, ensuring that parties understand the provisional binding effect of such decisions. Example, decisions issued by the DAAB shall be binding on both parties until and unless overturned by an arbitral award. Either party may issue a notice of dissatisfaction within 28 days of the DAB's decision, failing which the decision shall become final and binding. Provide for the implementation of DAAB decisions. Include provisions in the PCs that require the parties to promptly implement DAAB decisions, even if a notice of dissatisfaction has been issued, to ensure that the project is not unduly delayed by ongoing disputes. Example, both parties shall implement the DAB's decisions without delay, notwithstanding the issuance of a notice of dissatisfaction, unless otherwise agreed in writing. Facilitate the transition from DAAB to arbitration. Detail the process for transitioning from DAAB adjudication to arbitration, including any prerequisites for arbitration, such as the issuance of a notice of dissatisfaction and the attempt at amicable settlement. Example, following the issuance of a notice of dissatisfaction with a DAAB decision, the parties shall attempt to reach an amicable settlement within 56 days before proceeding to arbitration. Drafting clear and unambiguous PCs in line with Golden Principle 5 is essential for ensuring that dispute resolution mechanisms are effective, fair, and conducive to the continued progress of the project. By explicitly incorporating DAAB provisions, defining the scope of its authority, specifying the decision-making process, outlining the binding nature of decisions, providing for their implementation, and facilitating the transition to arbitration, the PCs can help minimize the impact of disputes on project timelines and relationships. These best practices ensure that the dispute resolution process is understood and respected by all parties, contributing to the overall success of the project. The importance of maintaining the risk, reward balance and ensuring reasonable time periods for obligations in construction and engineering contracts cannot be overstated. 
These elements are crucial for the success of projects, fostering trust among parties, and minimizing disputes. The FIDIC Golden Principles, particularly Principles 3 and 4, emphasize these aspects, highlighting their significance in contract management and project execution. Maintaining the Risk-Reward Balance The risk-reward balance is a fundamental concept in contract law, especially in the construction industry, where the nature of projects involves significant risks due to factors like project complexity, environmental conditions, and regulatory landscapes. Here's why maintaining this balance is crucial. Fairness and equity, a fair distribution of risks and rewards ensures that neither party is disproportionately burdened. This equity is essential for fostering a cooperative and productive relationship between the contractor and the employer, leading to more successful project outcomes. Project viability, proper risk allocation makes projects more viable and attractive to all stakeholders. Contractors are more likely to bid competitively on projects where risks are clearly defined and equitably allocated, leading to better prices and project quality for employers. Dispute minimization, clear and balanced risk allocation reduces the likelihood of disputes. When parties understand their risks and rewards from the outset, they are better prepared to manage challenges, leading to fewer disagreements and smoother project execution. Ensuring reasonable time periods for obligations. Reasonable time periods for the performance of contractual obligations are equally important for the smooth execution of construction projects. Here's why. Realistic planning, reasonable timelines ensure that planning is realistic, taking into account the complexity of the work, necessary approvals, and potential unforeseen events. This realistic planning is crucial for meeting project milestones and achieving completion within the expected time frame. Efficiency and productivity, when time periods are reasonable, it encourages efficiency and productivity from all parties. Unrealistic deadlines can lead to rushed work, compromising quality, safety, and ultimately, the project's success. Flexibility in handling delays, reasonable time periods often include provisions for extensions under certain conditions, providing flexibility to handle delays without immediately resorting to disputes. This flexibility is vital for maintaining project momentum in the face of unforeseen challenges. Integrating risk, reward balance and time periods in contracts. To integrate these principles effectively in construction contracts, parties should Conduct thorough risk assessments. Before drafting the contract, conduct thorough risk assessments to understand potential challenges and allocate risks accordingly. Engage in open negotiations. Transparent negotiations about risk allocation and time periods can help ensure that all parties' concerns are addressed, leading to a more balanced contract. Include detailed provisions. The contract should include detailed provisions for risk management, including mechanisms for addressing unforeseen risks and clear procedures for time extensions. Implement regular reviews. Regularly review project progress and risk management strategies to adjust to changing circumstances, ensuring that the risk, reward balance and time obligations remain appropriate throughout the project life cycle. Maintaining the risk, reward balance and ensuring reasonable time periods for obligations are not just contractual formalities, they are essential practices that underpin the successful delivery of construction projects. By adhering to these principles, parties can achieve more equitable, efficient, and dispute-free project execution. Section 4. Detailed Exploration of Each Golden Principle GP1, General Conditions and Contract Participants' Roles Detailed Explanation Golden Principle 1, GP1, stipulates that the duties, rights, obligations, roles, and responsibilities of all the contract participants must be generally as implied in the general conditions, GCs, and appropriate to the requirements of the project. This principle is foundational, ensuring that the essence and integrity of FIDIC contracts are preserved, even when tailored to specific projects through the particular conditions, PCs. The core of GP1 lies in maintaining the standard roles and responsibilities as defined in the FIDIC GCs, which have been carefully crafted to ensure fairness, clarity, and balance between all parties involved in a construction project. These roles include, but are not limited to, the employer, the contractor, the engineer, 
or project manager in certain FIDIC forms, and other stakeholders such as subcontractors and suppliers. Importance of aligning duties and responsibilities with project requirements. Ensuring fairness and balance, by aligning duties and responsibilities with the project requirements while adhering to the framework set out in the GCs, GP1 ensures that the contractual relationship remains fair and balanced. This balance is crucial for fostering a cooperative and productive working relationship among all parties, minimizing conflicts and disputes. Facilitating clear expectations, clear delineation of roles and responsibilities, tailored to the project's specific needs, ensures that all parties have a clear understanding of their expectations. This clarity is essential for efficient project execution, as it reduces ambiguities that could lead to misunderstandings or disputes. Adaptability to project specifics. While the FIDIC GCs provide a robust framework for various types of projects, each project has unique characteristics and requirements. GP1 allows for the necessary flexibility to adapt the contract to these specifics, ensuring that the contractual framework is fully relevant and applicable to the project at hand. This adaptability includes accommodating specific legal, environmental, and technical requirements of the project location and scope. Maintaining contractual integrity, adherence to GP1 helps maintain the integrity of the FIDIC brand and its contracts. By ensuring that modifications through the PCs do not deviate from the core principles and standards of FIDIC, the principle upholds the global recognition and trust in FIDIC contracts as fair, balanced, and comprehensive legal instruments for project delivery. Risk management, proper alignment of duties and responsibilities with project requirements also plays a crucial role in risk management. By clearly defining who is responsible for what aspects of the project, GP1 ensures that risks are allocated to the parties best equipped to manage them, contributing to smoother project execution and minimizing the likelihood of unforeseen issues. In conclusion, Golden Principle 1 is pivotal in ensuring that FIDIC contracts remain a gold standard for international construction and engineering projects. By mandating that the roles and responsibilities of contract participants align with the project's specific requirements while adhering to the general conditions, GP1 fosters a fair, clear, and efficient contractual environment conducive to successful project outcomes. GP2. Clarity and unambiguity in particular conditions. The critical role of drafting PCs that are clear and precise. Golden Principle 2. GP2 emphasizes the paramount importance of drafting particular conditions PCs, with utmost clarity and precision. This principle is essential for ensuring that the contractual agreements are not only understood by all parties involved but also that they leave no room for misinterpretation, which could lead to disputes or conflicts during the project's life cycle. Ensuring contractual intent is clearly communicated. The clarity and unambiguity of PCs are crucial for ensuring that the contractual intent of both the employer and the contractor is accurately communicated and understood. This clarity helps in preventing misunderstandings that could arise from vague or poorly defined contractual terms. When each clause in the PCs is drafted with precision, it significantly reduces the potential for disputes as all parties have a clear understanding of their rights and obligations, facilitating efficient project execution. Clear and unambiguous PCs contribute to the efficient execution of construction projects by providing a solid foundation for decision-making and project management. When parties are confident in their understanding of the contract terms, they can make informed decisions quickly, adhere to project timelines, and manage resources more effectively. This efficiency is particularly crucial in complex projects where delays and mismanagement can lead to significant financial losses, enhancing dispute resolution. While the primary aim of GP2 is to prevent disputes through clear communication, it also plays a vital role in the dispute resolution process. In cases where conflicts arise, the clarity of the PCs allows for a more straightforward interpretation of the contract, facilitating a faster resolution. Clear and precise PCs can often enable parties to resolve disputes amicably without the need for arbitration or litigation, saving time and resources, supporting fair and balanced risk allocation. 
GP2 supports the fair and balanced allocation of risks between the contracting parties, as outlined in GP3. Clear and unambiguous drafting of the PCs ensures that all parties are fully aware of the risks they are undertaking and the rewards they can expect. This awareness is crucial for maintaining the contractual balance and ensuring that neither party is unfairly disadvantaged. Examples of clarity and precision in PCs. Example 1. Instead of stating, The contractor shall complete the works in accordance with all applicable standards. Specify, The contractor shall complete the works in accordance with the specific list of standards as published on date, including any amendments effective as of the contract date. Example 2. Rather than a vague clause on time extensions, such as, The contractor may request additional time for unforeseen issues. Provide a detailed process. The contractor may request an extension of time for completion due to unforeseen issues beyond the contractor's control as defined in Clause X by submitting a written request within Y days of the issue's occurrence detailing the reasons for the delay and the additional time required. In conclusion, the drafting of clear and unambiguous PCs as mandated by GP2 is not just a contractual formality, but a critical practice that underpins the successful execution of construction projects. By ensuring that contractual terms are precisely communicated, understood, and agreed upon, GP2 lays the groundwork for efficient project management, effective risk allocation, and the minimization of disputes, contributing to the overall success and smooth execution of construction projects. GP3, Maintaining the Balance of Risk-Reward Allocation Explanation of Risk-Reward Balance Golden Principle 3, GP3, focuses on the crucial aspect of maintaining a fair and balanced allocation of risks and rewards between the contracting parties in a FIDIC contract. This balance is fundamental to the integrity of the contract and the success of the project. Risk Reward balance means that the risks inherent in the project are allocated to the party best able to manage, mitigate, or absorb them, and that this allocation is reflected in the rewards or benefits each party receives. The principle ensures that neither party is disproportionately burdened with risks without corresponding compensation or benefits, fostering a cooperative and productive contractual relationship. Strategies to uphold the risk, reward balance in contract amendments. 1. Comprehensive Risk Assessment Before drafting or amending the particular conditions, PCs, conduct a comprehensive risk assessment of the project. Identify potential risks, including those related to the project's location, complexity, regulatory environment, and market conditions. This assessment will inform the equitable allocation of risks in the contract amendments. Example, if a project is in a region prone to natural disasters, the risk assessment should inform the allocation of risks related to delays or damage caused by such events, ensuring that the PCs reflect an equitable distribution of these risks. 2. Explicit Risk Allocation Clauses Ensure that the PCs contain explicit clauses that clearly allocate identified risks. Specify which party is responsible for managing each risk and the mechanisms for dealing with risk realization, including compensation, time extensions, or other remedies. Example, the contractor shall bear the risk of cost increases for materials due to market fluctuations up to specified date. Beyond this date, any significant cost increases exceeding X percent of the initial material cost estimate will be shared equally between the employer and the contractor. 3. Fair compensation for assumed risks. When a party assumes a higher level of risk, Ensure that the PCs provide for fair compensation or other benefits to balance the increased risk. This could include higher payment rates, additional time allowances, or specific indemnities. Example, in recognition of the contractor's assumption of the risk for unforeseen subsurface conditions, the contract price includes a risk premium of X percent, and the contractor is entitled to claim additional costs directly attributable to such conditions. 4. Flexible mechanisms for risk management. 
incorporate flexible mechanisms within the PCs to manage and mitigate risks dynamically as the project progresses. This could include provisions for regular risk reviews, adjustment of contract terms in response to new risks, or the establishment of a risk management committee. Example, the parties shall establish a joint risk management committee that meets quarterly to review project risks and adjust risk mitigation strategies as necessary. Recommendations for contract adjustments due to emerging risks must be agreed upon by both parties. 5. Clear procedures for dispute resolution. Given that disputes often arise from disagreements over risk allocation and its consequences, ensure that the PCs define clear, fair, and efficient procedures for dispute resolution. This includes specifying the steps for raising and addressing disputes, timelines, and the roles of mediators or arbitrators. Example, any disputes arising from the allocation or management of risks under this contract shall first be subject to mediation by an agreed-upon third party. If mediation fails, disputes will be resolved through arbitration in accordance with specified arbitration rules. 6. Regular contract reviews and adjustments. Anticipate the need for regular contract reviews and adjustments to reflect changes in the project environment, regulatory changes, or unforeseen risks. The PC should provide a mechanism for such reviews and adjustments to be made in a structured and mutually agreeable manner. Example, the parties agree to conduct a comprehensive contract review every 12 months or upon the occurrence of significant project milestones, whichever comes first, to assess the continued appropriateness of risk allocation and make necessary adjustments. In conclusion, maintaining the balance of risk, Reward allocation as outlined in GP3 requires a proactive, strategic approach to contract drafting and amendment. By implementing these strategies, parties can ensure that their contracts reflect a fair, balanced, and dynamic approach to risk management, contributing to the project's overall success and the sustainability of the contractual relationship. GP4 – Reasonable Time Periods for Obligations the importance of setting realistic timeframes for contractual obligations. Golden Principle 4, GP4, emphasizes the critical importance of establishing realistic and reasonable time periods for the performance of contractual obligations in FIDIC contracts. This principle is designed to ensure that all deadlines, milestones, and schedules set forth in the contract are achievable and fair, reflecting a deep understanding of the project's scope, complexity, and external factors that might influence timelines. Adhering to GP4 is essential for maintaining the integrity of the project schedule, minimizing disputes related to delays, and ensuring a smooth and efficient project execution. Ensuring project feasibility and success. Realistic timeframes are foundational to the feasibility and success of a construction project. They allow for accurate planning, resource allocation, and execution, ensuring that each phase of the project progresses in a timely manner. Unrealistic deadlines can lead to rushed work, compromised quality, increased costs, and heightened stress for all parties involved. Facilitating fair and balanced risk allocation. GP4 supports the principle of fair and balanced risk allocation, GP3, by ensuring that time-related risks are equitably distributed. Reasonable time periods take into account the potential for unforeseen events and provide mechanisms for adjustment, ensuring that neither party is unfairly penalized for delays outside their control. Minimizing disputes and enhancing relationships. Setting realistic timeframes minimizes the potential for disputes over delays, which are among the most common sources of conflict in construction projects. Clear, Achievable deadlines help manage expectations and foster a collaborative environment, enhancing the working relationship between the employer, contractor, and other stakeholders. Strategies for setting realistic timeframes. Comprehensive project analysis. Before setting time periods, conduct a thorough analysis of the project scope, including design complexity, site conditions, and regulatory requirements. This analysis should inform the development of the project schedule and the time period specified in the contract. Stakeholder consultation. Engage key stakeholders, 
including contractors, subcontractors, and consultants, in the scheduling process to ensure that time periods reflect practical experience and industry standards. Allowance for contingencies, include allowances for unforeseen events and contingencies in the project schedule. This approach acknowledges the inherent uncertainties in construction projects and provides flexibility to adjust to changing circumstances. Regular review and adjustment, establish mechanisms within the contract for regular review and adjustment of time periods. This flexibility allows the contract to adapt to unforeseen challenges or opportunities that may arise during project execution. Clear mechanisms for time extensions, Define clear criteria and procedures for granting time extensions in the event of unforeseen delays. This includes specifying the process for submitting extension requests, the documentation required, and the criteria for evaluation. Example of setting realistic time frames. An example of implementing GP4 in contract drafting could be a clause specifying the completion date for a construction project. The contractor shall complete the works and achieve substantial completion by specific date, allowing for a specific number of days from the commencement date. This time frame accounts for list of considered factors, e.g., site conditions, complexity of works. The contractor may request an extension of time in accordance with clause X should unforeseen circumstances beyond the contractor's control arise, subject to providing sufficient evidence and documentation as specified in the contract. In conclusion, GP4's emphasis on setting realistic timeframes for contractual obligations is a cornerstone of effective project management in FIDIC contracts. By ensuring that time periods are achievable, fair, and adaptable, GP4 contributes to the successful, timely, and dispute-free completion of construction projects, benefiting all parties involved. GP5, Formal Dispute Resolution Mechanisms The role of dispute avoidance slash adjudication boards in resolving disputes and avoiding arbitration. Golden Principle 5, GP5, underscores the critical importance of incorporating formal dispute resolution mechanisms within FIDIC contracts, specifically highlighting the role of dispute avoidance slash adjudication boards, DOBs, in resolving disputes efficiently and avoiding the need for arbitration. This principle is rooted in the understanding that disputes are not uncommon in complex construction projects, but their impact can be significantly mitigated through early and effective resolution mechanisms. Enhancing Early Dispute Resolution DOBs play a pivotal role in the early resolution of disputes by providing a forum for parties to present their issues before they escalate. The DAAB process encourages the parties to engage in dialogue and seek a resolution at the earliest possible stage, often before the full-blown dispute arises. This early intervention is crucial for maintaining project momentum and avoiding the delays and costs associated with arbitration or litigation. Maintaining project continuity. One of the key benefits of DOBs is their contribution to maintaining project continuity. By resolving disputes promptly, DOBs help ensure that project activities can proceed with minimal disruption. This is particularly important in large-scale construction projects where delays can have significant financial implications and can affect the overall project timeline. Providing expertise in dispute resolution. DOBs are typically composed of experts in construction law and the technical aspects of construction projects. This expertise allows DOBs to understand the complexities of the disputes they adjudicate, leading to more informed and fair decisions. The technical and legal expertise of DAAB members is a critical asset in resolving disputes effectively and ensuring that the decisions are based on a deep understanding of the issues at hand. Offering a cost-effective alternative to arbitration. Resolving disputes through DOBs is generally more cost-effective than arbitration or litigation. The DAAB process is designed to be less formal and more streamlined, which can significantly reduce the costs associated with dispute resolution. This cost-effectiveness is particularly beneficial for projects with limited budgets or where the parties are keen to minimize legal expenses. Encouraging collaborative problem-solving The DAAB process encourages a collaborative approach to problem-solving, 
where parties are motivated to find mutually acceptable solutions rather than pursuing adversarial positions. This collaborative ethos can help preserve business relationships and foster a more positive project environment. Example of DAAB in action. An example of the DAAB process in action could involve a dispute over the interpretation of a technical specification in the contract. Upon identifying the disagreement, the parties would refer the issue to the DAAB, which would then review the contract documents, hear arguments from both sides, and provide a decision based on its interpretation of the contract and applicable technical standards. The Dobbs decision would be binding unless either party issues a notice of dissatisfaction, in which case the dispute may be referred to arbitration, following the attempt at an amicable settlement as prescribed in the contract. In conclusion, GP5 highlights the indispensable role of dispute avoidance slash adjudication boards in the effective resolution of disputes within the framework of FIDIC contracts. By providing a mechanism for early, expert, and cost-effective dispute resolution, DOBs play a crucial role in maintaining project continuity, minimizing costs, and fostering a collaborative project environment, thereby avoiding the need for arbitration and preserving the integrity of the contractual relationship. Section 5, Challenges and Solutions in Implementing the Golden Principles Common Challenges Faced by Contract Parties in Adhering to the GPs Implementing the FIDIC Golden Principles, GPs, can significantly enhance the fairness, efficiency, and success of construction projects. However, parties involved in drafting and executing contracts often encounter several challenges in fully adhering to these principles. Understanding these challenges is the first step toward developing effective solutions. 1. Lack of awareness or understanding. Challenge. A fundamental challenge is the lack of awareness or understanding of the GPs among stakeholders, including project managers, contractors, and even legal advisors. This gap can lead to inadvertent deviations from the principles, especially in complex projects with multiple stakeholders. 2. Resistance to change. Challenge. Contract parties may resist adopting the GPs due to familiarity with their existing contract practices or reluctance to change established procedures. This resistance is often rooted in a misconception that adhering to the GPs might complicate the contract process or disadvantage one party. 3. Balancing flexibility and standardization. Challenge. Striking the right balance between the need for contract flexibility to accommodate project-specific requirements and the need to adhere to the standardized framework of the GPs can be challenging. Overcustomization of contracts may lead to deviations from the core principles of fairness and balance. 4. Managing complex risk allocations. Challenge. Properly implementing GP3, which focuses on maintaining the balance of risk-reward allocation, can be particularly challenging in projects with complex or unique risks. Parties may struggle to agree on who is best positioned to manage certain risks, leading to disputes or imbalanced contracts. 5. Ensuring realistic timeframes. Challenge, under GP4, setting realistic timeframes for contractual obligations requires a deep understanding of the project scope and potential challenges. External factors, such as supply chain issues or regulatory delays, can complicate adherence to this principle, leading to unrealistic deadlines and project delays. 6. Effective Dispute Resolution Mechanisms Challenge, establishing effective dispute resolution mechanisms as outlined in GP5 can be challenging, especially in jurisdictions with less developed legal frameworks for construction arbitration or where parties have differing preferences for dispute resolution methods. Seven. Contractual rigidity. Challenge, a rigid interpretation of the GPs can sometimes lead to contractual inflexibility, making it difficult to adapt to unforeseen project developments or changes in the external environment. This rigidity can hinder the practical application of the GPs in dynamic project settings. To effectively implement the FIDIC Golden Principles and overcome the challenges in adhering to them, practical solutions and best practices are essential. These strategies not only facilitate compliance with the principles but also enhance the overall success and efficiency of construction projects. Addressing the Challenges 
educational and training programs. Solution, develop comprehensive educational and training programs for all stakeholders involved in the construction project, including project managers, contractors, engineers, and legal advisors. Best practice, regularly scheduled workshops and seminars focused on the interpretation and application of the golden principles, coupled with case studies and real-world examples, can significantly improve understanding and adherence. Collaboration and communication platforms. Solution, Establish open lines of communication and collaboration platforms where stakeholders can discuss and align on the interpretation and application of the GPs. Best practice, utilize digital collaboration tools that allow for real-time sharing of contract amendments, discussions on risk allocation, and resolution of potential disputes, ensuring all parties are aligned with the GPs. Flexible contract templates. Solution, create flexible contract templates that incorporate the GPs while allowing for necessary adjustments to accommodate project-specific requirements. Best practice, develop a library of annotated contract clauses that illustrate how the GPs can be applied across various scenarios, providing a valuable resource for contract drafters. Risk Management Workshops Solution, conduct risk management workshops at the outset of the project to identify, assess, and allocate risks in a manner consistent with GP3. Best practice, involve all key stakeholders in the risk management process, using structured methodologies to ensure a comprehensive understanding of project risks and their allocation. Realistic scheduling techniques. Solution, employ advanced scheduling techniques and tools to develop realistic timelines that reflect the project's complexity and external factors, in line with GP4. Best practice, use project management software to simulate different scenarios and their impact on project timelines, allowing for the adjustment of schedules in a data-driven manner. Culturally sensitive dispute resolution mechanisms. Solution, tailor dispute resolution mechanisms to fit the legal and cultural context of the project location, ensuring they are effective and acceptable to all parties. Best practice, Engage local legal experts and mediators familiar with the project's cultural and legal environment to design dispute resolution processes that are respectful and effective. Dynamic Contract Management Solution, implement dynamic contract management practices that allow for regular reviews and adjustments of the contract to reflect changes in the project environment. Best Practice Schedule periodic contract review meetings throughout the project lifecycle to assess the need for adjustments in light of project developments, ensuring the contract remains aligned with the GPs. Promoting a culture of fairness and transparency. Solution, foster a project culture that values fairness, transparency, and mutual respect, underpinning the ethos of the GPs. Best practice. Recognize and reward behaviors and practices that exemplify adherence to the GPs, creating positive reinforcement for maintaining these standards. By adopting these practical solutions and best practices, stakeholders can effectively navigate the challenges associated with implementing the FIDIC Golden Principles. These strategies not only ensure compliance with the principles but also contribute to the creation of a more collaborative, efficient, and successful project environment. And there you have it, a comprehensive journey through the FIDIC Golden Principles, designed to guide you towards success in your construction and engineering projects. At Growth Mindset Company, our mission is to empower you with the knowledge and tools you need to excel in the ever-evolving construction industry. Your support plays a crucial role in this mission. By subscribing and liking our videos, you're not just joining a community of like-minded professionals, you're also enabling us to create and share more educational content like this. Each like, share, and subscription goes a long way in helping us bring you the insights, strategies, and best practices that can transform your professional journey. So, if you found value in today's video and are eager to keep learning and growing with us, we kindly ask you to hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. Your engagement helps us reach and educate more individuals like yourself, fostering a community where knowledge leads to growth and success. Don't forget to turn on notifications for Growth Mindset Company, so you never miss out on our latest content. Together, let's build a future where every project is a stepping stone to greater achievements. Thank you for your support, and remember, with the right mindset, 
every challenge is an opportunity for growth.